I'm about to take some pictures because y'all got to see this. Everybody needs to see this. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today I am doing a powder foundation routine. So this face, this beat flawless face was done using only powder. I've been saying I was going to do this and I don't know why I haven't done it yet. I just am normally quick to grab a liquid. But today I sat down and I tried out a powder foundation and I think it is freaking amazing. So before we get into the video, if you are new here, I would love to have you join the family. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. I do a lot of different beauty content, including hair, makeup, nails. So you can get whatever you need on this channel. I won't keep you waiting any longer. If you want to see what I used and how I applied my foundation, only powder, to get my face looking like this, then stay tuned and keep on watching. So I've been talking about doing a powder foundation routine forever and I'm finally getting around to doing it. And today I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation. I picked this up during the Sephora sale, still in the box, I have not used it yet. And for my primer, instead of doing my normal primer, I'm gonna do the Hydra Visor. This is her sunscreen. And it says you can use this every day and you can apply it before makeup for the ultimate canvas. I have a little sample pack. I think I bought the full size one too, but I don't remember. <laughs> surprise, surprise. But I'm gonna use this as my primer today. I was thinking I needed to put something that would be a little more moisturizing and hydrating. And then I remembered that this does kind of give you a glow, which I want because I know this foundation is gonna be matte, which I'm fine with, but I don't wanna look like, I don't know. My skin is pretty normal these days, not oily, not dry. So I don't need anything too matte, but I also don't want it to look really dry and flat. So this foundation is not that new, but it's new to me. It retails for $38 and I picked mine up in the shade 410. So in the liquid foundation, I am shade 420. I think this is a pretty good match for me. Matter of fact, let's see. I'm just gonna put a little swatch, actually. Might be a little dark, <laughs> but I'm gonna put a little swatch here so you guys can see how it dries down, but I don't wanna put it on my face because we're gonna put the powder on my face. So we'll just let this sit here. There's the shade 410 says that it is, let me find it, for tan to deep skin with warm golden undertones. I normally don't do warm or golden, but I feel like I swatched this in the store and this one felt like it was the best for me. 420 says tan to deep skin with warm undertones. So I probably should have did that because it doesn't say the golden, but we're gonna go with it. So I'm not sure if I wanna do concealer on my dark spots or just see how dark, not dark, but full we can get the coverage. This is what the shade looks like in the pan. That is very scary to me. Let's start. You know what? I have this spot on my face. I actually burned myself. We're gonna start there and I'm gonna take my sponge. Apparently I swatched this before and I don't know why my sponge is dirty because I don't remember using this, but whatever. So I'm going to take it on my sponge and I'm going to see. I still see my spot through a little bit. I'm going to use a tiny bit of concealer. I'm going to use this Too Faced. This is their Instant Coverage Concealer. Told you guys I had this in two different shades and I have not used it. I'm using the shade Cappuccino, which I think is about my skin tone. And I'm just gonna take that on a concealer brush and lightly put that in the areas that I feel like I need a little more coverage. 
And this is a little tiny, tiny, tiny bit too light, but I feel like with the shade of the powder, it is gonna be okay. If you don't have bad hyperpigmentation, then you can probably skip this step, but I do want to try to get the best coverage that I can out of this and we'll see what it looks like on my forehead I don't need anything there so let's start off just with a brush and I have my elf powder brush and I'm just gonna get a good little bit there and I'm gonna start working this in on my forehead the claims on this say that it's supposed to be a light as air long wear powder foundation that gives you light to full coverage with a soft matte finish it says that it is medium coverage. It does not say that it is full. So that's what it's looking like on my forehead right now. I can see the difference in my skin tone shade. And remember the other shade on my neck. But I do see that this is giving me some coverage already. So that is definitely good. So right now I'm just pressing it into the skin to try to keep the coverage as much as I can. I'm not gonna put it under my eyes or anywhere that I want to put concealer. This is looking really, really pretty so far though. Yeah, you can still see my dark spot right there a little bit. I feel like this is looking a little orange on camera, but in the mirror in front of me, it looks okay. So can definitely see that this is buildable. So this is just with a brush, not even using the sponge. And I think this is really good coverage. It is a little powdery, getting a little messy on here, but not too too bad so this is what it looks like just with my brush i think this is really good coverage i'm gonna go ahead and put a little concealer i'm gonna use the same concealer but i used cappuccino on my face i'm gonna use rose tea under my eyes i did heavily moisturize under my eyes because i knew that i wanted to use this concealer and it's supposed to be really matte. This is also really light, so we're gonna mix them. This is way lighter than I thought it was gonna be. Might use this one on my eyes as my eye primer. And I'm putting this on top of powder, so let's see what happens. I'm not gonna put too much because I also plan to use my translucent powder to set this, so yeah, this rose tea shade is a lot lighter than I thought it was. So this might be better for an eye primer. We're going to go ahead and mix them. An eye primer, or if you like to carve out your brows and you like that really dark, really light, you can use this as well. This is very thick in the pot. I know that's not why we're here today, but this is something that is new that I showed you guys that I hadn't used. So just want to give you an update as I'm using it. It looks like this applies well over powder. I do like that I can still see the glow of my eye cream underneath. I use the Bosha, which one is it? The Indigo Eye Brightener. It's a purple eye cream and I feel like it really helps to brighten my under eyes. So I think we're gonna stop there with concealer and I'm gonna use my LYS setting powder and just lightly set that because I don't know, where's my brush? I don't know if this is gonna um, crease or not, but most do on me, so definitely need to set it. So you can see I'm brightened a little more in the areas I like to highlight and I'm just gonna go back with the powder foundation around that to blend everything in. I feel like this kind of looks like, yes, I'm wearing makeup, but it's not heavy. It definitely feels like it looks light on the skin. So I hope you guys can see. I don't feel like there's any additional texture on my skin. I did recently 
try something on my face that made me break out. I don't know what it was, but you can see I still have a little bit of texture up here and that's how I know it was a product because if I'm gonna break out, it's gonna be this area right here, not on my forehead. So these little bumps right here are definitely from something. Same with that. But anyway, this is what my skin looks like. I do feel like it doesn't look super matte. Like it just kind of, it says it's a soft matte. So I definitely agree with that. But other than the few little places I put the concealer, this is the coverage that I was able to build up to just using a sponge. I'm just using my brush. So I know if I went in with the sponge, it should give me more coverage, but let's see, where do I want? I don't want to put too, too much because I don't want it to look, I don't know, I feel like the shade's a little dark on me. But... It says medium coverage, but I definitely feel like you can build this up to full. I love how this looks. This is definitely something I could do if I'm just going to get out the door super fast and not have to worry about trying to blend my foundation and all that stuff. So if you're not comfortable with liquid and you just want a powder to lightly dust or be able to adjust the coverage, I think this is a great option. So I'm going to finish the rest of my face. I just have a few other products here that I want to try also from my Sephora haul that I haven't used yet and then I'm going to come back and give you guys my final thoughts. All right guys so this is it for the final look. <laughs> I'm so excited about these lashes. These I will have to say these are probably what I feel like for me like the perfect big pair of lashes and they were super easy to put on. I know this video is not about lashes, but I have to tell y'all because the struggle is real when it comes to them. So this is the INV Remy 3D Invisible Band KREI05. This is what the box looks like. And I took a picture of this box because these lashes are big. They are fluffy, but they are wispy. And they are long for me, but I just, I don't know. It almost feels like this looks like lash extensions and I've never had them. I don't want to because when they start falling out, I think they look crazy when people just walk around with like a few long lashes. But anyway, we're here for foundation. So this is what my face looks like up close. I set under my eyes with my LYS powder and then I went in also with my Pat McGrath. But as far as the foundation goes, the powder itself, I think it looks so pretty. And I usually have issues with my forehead looking super wrinkly, which I hate. And I don't feel like I see that right now. I think my face looks so good. And I'm kind of feeling this look. My eyes, I used my Dose of Colors Desi Times Katie collab in my eyeshadow palette video. I said this was one of the ones that I needed to try to see if I was gonna keep it, and I'm keeping it. I know this palette is old, but I feel like my eyeshadow blended out so well. I hope you guys can see it with these lashes, probably not, but yeah, I think everything came together. This powder is about to go in my bathroom, and I think the shade is good. Keep in mind this underneath here, it looks orange on camera, but I feel like to me it looks okay. This is the 420 shade, and then the powder is 410. So if nobody's gonna reference my shades because my foundations are normally dark, but take it for what it's worth, that's what I have on and I think it is a great match. So if you've been wanting to try that powder, y'all go pick it up because it is so good. My face looks freaking snatched and I'm about to just sit home and do nothing, but I'm about to take some pictures because y'all gotta see this. Everybody needs to see this. That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Comment and let me know below what you think about how this looks, how my face looks. I mean, be nice, you know, but I think it looks good. Y'all let me know. Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.